for us this week? Well, wait till I see what I have for you this week. Uh, <laughs> Forbes, let's go back to Forbes. We got okay. a good one this time. Forbes headline, uh, we should consider starting COVID-19 vaccinations now. This was written by Steven Salzberg. He's a distinguished professor at John Hop Johns Hopkins University, undergrad, master's at Yale, um, PhD at Harvard, 250 scientific papers. And he writes, quote, the evidence for these trial vaccines is already better than for most of the actual treatments we're giving people. And most importantly, we know they are safe. So let's start vaccinating millions of people now as soon as we can ramp up production. Okay. Amazing. You, you know, you sent that to me earlier in the week. And at first I shouted out loud, are you expletive, expletive kidding me? But then I actually had a different thought. I said, you know what? Maybe I've got to stop fighting these things. Maybe this is how we bring an end to idiocracy. I, I, I thought, you know, if people want to line themselves up to take a totally untested vaccine before it's even through its safety trials based on some really pathetic early phase one trials where everybody in the Moderna group got sick, some seriously ill in the higher dose groups. We've looked at some of the Oxford problems that are going on, but... Why am I trying to stop them, right? Go right ahead, line up. If maybe it is a way that we, you know, guys like, uh, you know, the, the writer here, Steven Salzberg, I mean, maybe he should just get right at the front of the line there uh, and let's see how that works out for him. And if it wipes people off the planet like it did to the ferrets in all the animal trials earlier, at least people that don't believe in safety studies won't be in the way anymore. I mean, I know that sounds harsh, but... What can we do, right? I can't protect people for themselves, and this is a free country. And as long as it's not mandated that you take it and you decide to go and outsmart the FDA and take something that's in the middle of the trials, go right ahead. Let's see how that works for you. Um, amazing. It was an amazing article. So, so then what happened? Well, I, I actually have to give credit to Stephen because he did post, I guess, what you would call as a retraction. Uh, days later, after the public called him out, he writes, <laughs> I was wrong. We can't skip phase three vaccine trials. No, and he Stephen. writes, <laughs> this is his quote, I was wrong. After reading many of the responses to my article, some of them outlining the risks in greater detail, I've concluded that one, the risks are greater than I presented them. And two, the benefits are not as great as I had thought. Spoken like a true astroturf term anti-vaxxer, Stephen. Uh, before right. the coronavirus, that would have that would have got you censored speaking like that or writing like that. But now, thank you for thank you for not um, just going on and refusing to address that. Uh, but you know what's interesting about this is last week we covered Forbes told their readers to not do their own research. This was a headline right. we covered. When it comes to science, no doubt. So, uh, you know, looking at that headline, naturally, where would you turn? You would turn to Forbes right. for uh, a professor at Johns Hopkins University right. a, a, from Harvard, a doctorate. Surely he would have some answers, but he's wrong. It's amazing, right? You know, one week you have this article that says you're basically too stupid to understand all the details of these vaccine programs. So stop trying. You, you know, don't do the research. In fact, you should just trust guys like Steven Salzberg. We bring in Harvard professionals to make sure that you have the correct approach and data. He posts a headline, get out there and grab this vaccine as soon as you can. Oh, wait a minute. Whoops. Why? I mean, why the change, right? I mean, did he come under, you know, was it, was it visible that people were attacking him? Yeah, he said, you know, in his in his article, he said, after replies to my article. So let's look at some of those replies. I went to Twitter. I pulled a couple of them off. Uh, we have Dr. Faraz's reply. He says, with all due respect, genuinely and not rhetorically, this is not your field of expertise. <laughs> Writing something that strays this far from vaccine norms when you're not a recognized expert in the field is irresponsible. Then we go to someone named Kim Masters. She she wrote to him, hey, thalidomide was fun. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and then finally, we have a, a guy named Karen, uh, Kevin McKernans. He writes, quote, man who critiques HCQ as being untested suggests everyone else use even less tested medicine. Pharma, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens, right? That's what happens when people actually think they're educated enough to investigate a, a story themselves. Well, it's amazing, right? I'd, I'd, I'd hate to be Steven this week. It must have been a really rough week. I wonder what his editors yeah. were saying. All right, brilliant and, and quite comical. 
I love it. I love watching a big mouthpiece telling people what to do, having to eat their shoes.